Welcome to the explanation of the IQ's autonomous system. IQ's uh, by GPX uh, Solutions from the Netherlands is the first uh, CE approved autonomous driving system on a tractor. This is a full autonomous system where we control the tractor and optional also the implement based on a single route and uh, uh, several profiles. The system itself consists of a safety package. This safety package is uh, uh, visible outside the tractor and this is the front bumper which has a uh, LiDAR sensor to detect any uh, bigger obstacles or uh, people or uh, bigger animals and it also has a, uh, a mechanical brake bag which uh, makes the tractor stop if you hit something. Besides this, the tractor has an emergency button with a, within reach of 2 meters and a safety brake mechanism that if the tractor runs into a safety mode because of uh, one uh, parameter being uh, giving a, a problem, then the tractor will go neutral and uh, the emergency brake will be applied. The next thing within the system is a ordinary or common A brand GPS system. We prefer a Raven, so we use the RS1 uh, antenna, which is a, a CAN bus antenna. You can also use a uh, tractor brand, uh, uh, the independent uh, antennas, as long as the signal remains the same. And the CR7 7 inch terminal, or the optional, the CR12 12, 12 inch terminal. Then we go to the main basics of the system, which is a Linux based Windows uh, or Microsoft tablet, which we fully erase and we uh, uh, place our own software on it. So we have nothing to do with uh, outside interference with software updates whatsoever. So we have a really reliable system. And then our opening screen opens with one of the uh, um, uh, most important choices, which is your profile. So here on the uh, top left, you see Fend 211V, which is the tractor we're in. We can also choose the New Holland T4 100 so the main brands are for the small track and orchards and, and specialty crop tractors are represented already uh, and uh, we can add implements so in these profiles if you add an implement then you know which uh, type of tractor and which implement you need to choose so you apply this profile to your routing so we choose this route and then we have to accept it's in dutch here but we can adapt this to english or any other language, you have to accept that you know you're going to operate an autonomous system. This is within the CE, so of course we accept and then you will see uh, the GPS position of the tractor. Then on the left you see the options we can do, uh, in the bottom are some uh, uh, changes we can make and on the right you see the parameters which all need to be green if we want to work autonomously, so we only have no connection. I like to start with a short uh, service option we have because this is our own tablet we have incorporated a team viewer option so you can click on support here and then one of our uh, service engineers can take over the tablet remotely to help you uh, recover from uh, small uh, problems within the system our experience we have five systems out there uh, say that 80 percent of the problems can be solved through this team viewer option then we go to the system itself. So on the left we see uh, play, record, uh, adapt route and adapt actions. In, again in Dutch, but these are the four options you have. So we either start by recording a route. So by recording, we can record the route. The route uh, is then based on waypoints. For that, I will open a route for you to see. So open. I am not on my route, but as you can see, we have green and gray dots. So we record a route and we have green and gray dots. Uh, we drive the straight lines based on the GPS system. So on an AB line, so we always drive the same lines. We have no uh, steering uh, incorrections, which we have to correct. Once we have a route, uh, the system itself can apply corners and straights. So green waypoints are corners and gray waypoints are straights. If you don't like the position of your corner or your straight, you can change the position of your waypoint to straight or to corner. Once you have this and the route is uh, okay, then uh, uh, we can uh, control the actions. I will briefly go to this screen. 
and then on the top right you can see the condition which is start at the zero end which is the red dot beginning of a straight the first gray waypoint beginning of a corner the first green waypoint so you simply choose those four positions you add the actions that the tractor or the implement has to do on that position and you do that one per, once per profile and once the profile has been set and you go to the next route you do not have to change uh, your settings because then the profile is already known by the system so you have your route you have your settings corrected for this profile then you simply go back to play and then if all the dots are green i can push start plan and then the tractor goes active and then we come to the last part of our system which is the remote control so once the tractor is active we control it by the remote control we can still exit the tractor take our time to check the surroundings of the tractor we can close the cap and then with a single push we make the tractor external, uh, externally active and it will rev up or do some actions to, to, to start its route and with another push of the green button the tractor will start his uh, route we have several other options which means is pause so we can do a short pause within our route to change the setting of the implement we can do an emergency break by the red button and we can stop with the yellow button so um, yeah, it's an easy to use, full autonomous system, fully adaptable, based on routes, based on profile. And it's very user friendly. And if you want more information, please contact us through the website, through our email. And we're more than happy to come and explain the working of the system.